Good evening. This is Radio Free College of Santa Fe, continuing to broadcast from an undisclosed location near our nation's capital. Tonight we'll continue with the second installment of Session 8 for CMS 476 Database Design. Tonight we are going to implement in a web-enabled manner the patient table that we created in Microsoft Access last night. I'm in Argo UML and the most important thing to remember is to be sure to import the XMI file that you downloaded from the Joel Burton website using the link in the class material. That will give you the data types that will enable all of the widgets that go with our class diagram to communicate properly with our web framework. Uh, I had downloaded my Argo UML underscore profile dot XMI to the Argo UML folder. I will open it. That in a few seconds will give me a large number of data types and methods. I'm going to create a package called health care. Get big enough to hold things. Click on the new class icon. The name of this will be patients. And I will go over here and click on new attributes. That's the middle yellow bar. We have first name over here, the data type little scrolling under S is string another attribute last name data type string third attribute address guess what data type of string. Save this project. I'm going to call it, you guessed it, healthcare. And we will continue in the second part of this evening's screencast by using this Zargo file, this UML model, to generate the schema for the database that we'll see in the web.